Team Carplans. Uh, we're having an awesome time, my friend. Of course, we had a lot of face, a lot of very good footage. Um, two and a half years ago, I've been on another private lake. It was the first time uh, I was using the autopilot system. And in the meantime, a lot of things changed and a lot of improvement came. And can you tell the people what is different compared to the, the older versions? Of course I can. In the past we've used, uh, for example, the 2.4 GHz. Yeah, that means yes. uh, we, uh, actually we, we've changed uh, the uh, frequency because in the past you had some problems with the range. That means it wasn't stable on high ranges. Yeah, you need some bigger antennas and now uh, we are using 868 eight, eight, uh, MHz. This is the best available um, frequency for getting the high range without any problems. And what I said as well, uh, you can use uh, smaller antennas, which is a big benefit if you're fishing uh, like here on the island, under trees, something like yeah. that. So, so it can get stuck on the ranges and exactly. you can properly fish the margins. Exactly. The main thing uh, we've uh, definitely improved is uh, that the bot is running very straight because you don't have the, the bow in the line. And in the meantime, we have our software developer. So that means uh, if a customer is calling us, I got uh, an idea, then uh, we can directly solve it and everything and will improve be it. Yeah, I definitely saw yeah. there has also been an update on the app itself. We got there a we take. go, we got Sorry. a take. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, so this is yeah. um, the actual week, it's crazy busy here, So, uh, but of course the RT4 again did the job, so okay, but now we got the time again, fish is solved, yeah. fish is all right. Yeah, like I said, you got improvement on the app itself, so uh, it made it easier to work with for the customer. Uh, that was one of the most important things you got of the feedback, of course, so it's easy to use for not, not technical guys. Uh, That's the main important thing, because uh, most of the customers think, oh god, an autopilot, so many functions, a fish finder here, uh, the steering here, but um, yeah, we do the pre-installation, everything is uh, all right if you cut the board. You just put it in the water, of course you have once to read the manual. Yeah, but you even get it in the video links in the mail, uh, how to charge the batteries and exactly. how to use your system. So, That's so it's very easy, easy. Yeah. just open it, watch it and uh, all your questions will be on. Exactly, especially for the non-technical guys and... Uh, yeah, what I noticed last night, it was pissing down with rain. Yes, of course. I don't have the autopilot on my system yet. You had to go out I in the rain. I was very jealous because you're fishing two packs beside me and I could see you were using the autopilot properly yeah. without getting wet, having a cold beer beside you, while I was totally soaked, yes. really soaked, to and get my lines out. That's one of the main benefits. That means you just put it in the BB, push to the uh, bottom, you've saved your um, roots originally, that's how you say it go there. Open hopper left, open hopper right, job done. Just uh, chill in the bivy and your boat yeah, will do the it, job. It's brilliant. Yeah. Then another big part uh, I noticed um, is uh, the Ray Marine system. Yes, this is So awesome. instead yeah. of the normal fish finder systems we have, you got now down imaging. And I think that's a huge benefit, especially it's working in the app and the indication you saw uh, while driving. It's, it's a brilliant system. Awesome. You could see the muscles, the pellets, all the important factors downscan is giving you gets provided and then in the app. I think that, that's, that's a brilliant move. And it's very handy as well because you don't have to, uh, you, there's no need for a separate screen for a fish finder anymore. No, exactly, you it's just all in one. one and, but um, what is the actual distance since we, you did the update on the app and working with the Raymarine? Yeah, that was also a big benefit that we've uh, got the software developer in our team now and uh, principally it got a range about 50 to 80 meters. But our software developer has made an improvement that we are definitely have always the 400 meters range with oh, the right eye. And honest. to be honest, um, 400 meters, that's it's almost more than empty reel, so you know, of course that's more than uh, enough. So this is, and you got the Wi-Fi connection and it's brilliant, you can see everything like you said, yeah. muscles. Yeah, you could see it, you definitely awesome. had your benefit out of the fish you caught already yeah. during this week by finding the pellets uh, easily because you got more indication on the fish finder. It's an awesome, awesome set. Yeah, definitely the next update I want to have. Well, Daniel, then another question. You can control the boat from the app uh, with the remote that's installed on the, on the app. But for example, um, I can imagine people want to have an uh, external remote controller as well. Uh, quick example, um, could break down, fall in the water. 
then you always have the option to have a spare remote controller with you. Is that possible? Of course it is, and it makes sense, for example, if you're fishing in a week in France, and what you say, the computer box fails in the water, then uh, you got the uh, spare remote control, which will help you out of the situation. So uh, you also have some benefits, um, for example, if you do the mapping. Yeah, you got uh, you can use the autopilot to do the main uh, center of the lake. Yes. Then you can do the margins with the remote control. Ah. Then you're one hundred percent safe that you got the shallow water as well. And you can follow the boat so it won't get tangled between exactly. ranges, uh, etc. Whatsoever, yeah. yes, of course. Yeah. And this is um, in the meantime we got the uh, master slave situation. That means uh, normally um, on the auto, auto, uh, autopilot version, the, uh, the autopilot is the master. That means you don't have the option to turn on the remote and use the boat with your remote. Yeah, and in the meantime, you got the function. If you're running on autopilot, you can use. Uh, you just turn on the remote, and the it takes remote, over. Exactly. So it's, it's the awesome. main controller. Exactly. Once you have any problem, you put on your uh, spare remote controller, exactly. and your your session yeah. is or safe. Or even so a lot it. of customers are asking if I just do an overnighter, um, can I use the remote? Of course, you can. You just put the yeah, boat. Instead the of remote, installing the, the app and doing every all the function on, you exactly. can do a quick driving the, the boat to exactly. the direction, and drop the base, uh, and. Exactly. And this is a good benefit if you know your spots, for example, at your syndicate lakes. Just get the boat in water, turn on the remote, put your baits out there. Exactly. Always quick, quick pre-baiting from, from your areas just before you want to do a section in the, in the weekend, for example. Exactly. So, Daniel, another thing I noticed. Uh, the first time when I was using the first version in France, uh, the box was totally different. The big layout on it. I see the box is a lot smaller. Yes, of course. This is also a thing we've uh, already improved. Uh, you just need a small tablet, and uh, on the box itself, which is uh, which has included the autopilot. Yeah, it's a lot smaller. You have the big white box on the old version, you can see, and it's really compact. What are the differences? Yeah, the main uh, improvement is that we've already uh, installed uh, all the components you need for the autopilot. That means you got the uh, booster for the uh, Waymarine Wi-Fi fish finder. That means you don't have a screen attached anymore. There is an internal battery. That means you can um, use this compact and you can uh, charge your tablet as well. And um, that's very important because you can also use bigger tablets. You don't uh, have to choose this one. You can use smaller ones or bigger ones. And if you use bigger ones, of course, you still need the option to give it a directly charge. You've got some plugs over here. You can directly fit them in. Easy. And yeah. that's the to use these. Yeah. Brilliant. And another question, Daniel, about uh, a lot of people love to do, use the mapping at the moment. Is it also possible with this box in combination with the Raymarine Refish? Yes, of course, and it's much more handy. The main benefit is you don't need a laptop anymore, all the things. You don't need a Reef Master anymore. You can do a live 3D mapping. That means you're just driving over a lake. For example, we are here since one week. Yes. We started to drive over here. We created a 3D card and it's already safe and automatic. So automatically it generates a 3D map for you in the app itself. Exactly, without any Reef Master program. So that CNK means for the not technical there. guys under us, yeah. we can all do it now. So exactly. that's a brilliant upgrade as well. Of course, yeah. Well, then one thing is a fact. I know uh, I want to have the new uh, autopilot version. Uh, definitely uh, it triggered me and uh, I love the looks of the Raymarine we fish. Then, uh, yeah, I think everybody got the information they want to know about the new autopilot system. And well, I think it's now time to uh, get a couple of beers because yeah. I think we're going to have uh, a very busy last two nights. Exactly. And the RT4 already did the job, so the rods are out. We got the first take, so easy peasy job done, yeah. buddy.